Hey everyone, in this video, I'm going to guide you through the process of reverting your Pixel 5 or any Pixel phone back to stock Android from a custom ROM. Whether you have a custom ROM installed on your Pixel device or simply want to install the latest stock Android version on your Pixel phone, this guide is for you. I'll show you how to do it yourself, step by step, without spending any money or paying someone else to do it. So keep watching this video until the end. We'll cover everything from installing ADB and OEM USB drivers to using the Android Flash tool to install the official stock ROM. So let's get started. Before we begin, a few important notes. This process will wipe all the data on your phone, so make sure to back up anything important. Alright, here's what you'll need. A USB-C cable to connect your Pixel to your computer. A computer with internet access. Your Pixel phone and a bit of patience. Now if you already have ADB tools installed on your system, you can skip these steps and proceed to the next section. But if you have not, then keep watching the next steps to get it on your system. Step 1. Install ADB and Fastboot. These are part of the Android SDK platform tools. Head over to the official Android developer website. I've put the link in the description below. Once you're on the page, download the platform tools package for your operating system Windows, Mac OS or Linux. Step 2. Once the download is complete, locate the zip file in your downloads folder and extract it to a convenient location on your computer, like your drive C or a dedicated folder. Step 3. Setting up ADB and Fastboot. Now that we have the platform tools extracted, let's make sure your computer can use them. For Windows users, this involves adding the platform tools folder to your system's path environment variable. For macOS and Linux users, it's a bit simpler. For Windows, open the start menu, search for environment variables, and select edit the system environment variables. In the system properties window, click on environment variables. In the environment variables window, find the path variable under system variables and click edit. Click new and paste the path to your platform tools folder. It should look something like this. Click OK on all windows to close them. Now for macOS and Linux, pause this video here and just follow these steps. Step 4. Install the OEM USB drivers. This step is crucial for your computer to properly recognize your Pixel device. If you're on Windows, download the Google USB driver from the Android developer website. Extract the downloaded file, then open Device Manager on your computer. Find your Pixel device under Other Devices or Portable Devices. Right-click on it, choose Update Driver, and browse to the folder where you extracted the USB driver. If you're on macOS or Linux, you generally don't need to install additional drivers. In step 5, enable developer options and USB debugging on your Pixel. Go to settings and then about phone and tap build number 7 times until you see a you are now a developer message. Go back to settings, find system, then developer options, and enable OEM unlocking and the USB debugging. Step 6. Connect your Pixel to your computer using the USB-C cable. You might see a prompt on your phone asking to allow USB debugging. Make sure to allow it. Step 7. Open the website Factory Images for Nexus and Pixel Devices to search for your device model. You'll find a list of nearly all Google Pixel phones. Scroll down to locate your phone model. Next to the latest available Android version for your phone, you'll see two options, Flash and Link. Click on Flash to install the official stock ROM using the Android Flash tool. The Android Flash tool is a web-based tool provided by Google that makes it easy to flash factory images to your Pixel device. Once the Android Flash tool window is opened, make sure your Pixel is in fastboot mode. You can boot into fastboot mode by powering off your phone then holding the volume down and power button simultaneously. After that on the laptop screen, click on allow ADB access and follow the on-screen instructions to allow the necessary permissions. Hopefully you'll see your device under the select device tab, so just click on it to select it. 
After that, under the Select Build tab, check the Wipe Device and Lock Bootloader options. Then click on Install Build. Accept the license agreement by clicking I Accept. You will see that the stock firmware has begun installing. This process may take several minutes depending on the internet speed you have. The flash tool will first be downloading the firmware file and then be installing it. So be patient and do not do anything with the connected phone till then. Once the installing is complete, you will get to see a pop-up asking you to lock the bootloader. So first click on start on the laptop screen and then use the keys on the phone to lock the bootloader. Once the process is complete, your phone will automatically reboot. This first boot might take a little longer than usual, so don't worry if it seems to be taking its time. And there you have it. Your Pixel 5 is now running stock Android once again. If you encounter any issues or have any questions, feel free to drop them in the comments below. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful, and subscribe to the channel for more tech tutorials and reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.